Greetings. Today I'd like to discuss languages. No matter if it is runes or written language or even verbal language. Throughout history, there has been many different variations of language. From the more modern term of sign language to the verbal language of the various different types of linguistics of English, Irish, Russian, German, Egyptian, Greek, Romanian, even English. Back over centuries of linguistics from cuneiform, Babylonian, Sumerian, Arcadian, to what has become mostly known throughout the left-hand path as runes from Anglo-Saxon, Theban, angelic, or celestial, as it's referred to, right down to Enochian. I can go on and on from there. However, what I'd like to discuss is the variations of these linguistics from ancient times to the more modern use. In today's world, the left-hand path such as paganism, Wiccan, and Wicca have used the linguistics within a type of slang, if you wish to, to refer it to it. Much like the modern-day English language of not fulfilling a complete sentence. The abbreviation, if you, for an example. Instead of, oh my god, it is OMG. <laughs> Slang. Cute, but annoying. Especially when you're not up to date on them. But anyways, let's talk about the variations. Starting with the Book of Satan, the Black Book, as it is referred to. In Chapter 4 of the El Jawa, it states, and I quote, and I'll use my own language on this, is that it states that there are many types of books that should be shunned because they are not of Satan. Christianity would do the same because they're not of their God doesn't matter if it's Islamic, Hebrewism, or Christianity. The Hebraic system has stolen much of their history from other much older civilizations to which they have conquered. They have literally incorporated them into their own book, the Holy Bible, as they refer to it. Aleister Crowley, on the other hand, used the Bible in his own unique way, a left-hand pathway. The Bible is a book of demonolatry. It's just another grimoire, much like the Goetia or Sigils, signs and symbols. In the last hundred years, paganism which has been around a little over a thousand years, maybe 1,500 to 2,000 years max. These had splinter cells within the last hundred years, which formed into a category or a subcategory, I should say, as Wicca or Wiccan. Within the last 40 to 60 years, a branch has spun off of that which became known as Wicca, a cross between paganism and witchcraft. Now here's the thing. Satan's word has been around for over 700,000 years. This is a proven fact, not only historically, but biblically. When he says, and I quote, that I am the way, well, guess what? That's chapter one. 
I am, I am and always have been, basically meaning in one form or another. Before he was known as Lucifer, he was known as Samuel. Before Samuel, he was known as Satan. And I can go on from there. Doesn't matter if it's Ezekiel or even Tiamat. He was known by many names. However, the term that Aleister Crowley wrote and quite frankly made his motto was do what thy will shall be the whole of the law. Much like the Codex Sirius or the Codex Gigas, the Devil's Bible. Now, Wiccans and pagans and Wicca practitioners have stolen this and, just like Christianity, taken a branch off it and spun it into their own version, which is, if it harms none, then do what thy will shall be the whole of the law. But if we go back, Satan's word within the al clearly states that my way is the highway. I am and always shall be. Those who follow my works shall be received with great benefit. Whereas the sons of Adam will get everything of this world. Much like the Christian version of the meek shall inherit the earth in their book of Revelations. So you can see how the Armageddon literally falls into the subcategory of a spin-off of books. In chapter 4 of the al Satan flat out tells us to shun the other books. It's okay to learn from them, but do not accept them. And this is why. Near the end of chapter 4, it discusses how if we allow our book, say, for an example, the Book of Shadows, is seen and held on to by, say, a friend, a co-worker, somebody that doesn't share our beliefs, that is curious, they can alter our books without our knowledge. So therefore, it is best to keep the secrets of Satanus safe. This is why when I teach, I teach the templates over a wide range. It doesn't matter if it's Aleister Crowley. doesn't matter if it's Luciferian. doesn't matter if it's Anton Zandalave. doesn't matter if it's a Christian text. I teach it the way I see it. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is linguistics. Runes can actually be shared, written on parchment in one form or the other. So with that said, it's a small taste of linguistics. So I'd like to discuss a much older text, and this is very important. There's an offshoot of Hebrewatic text, or Aramaic, a much older variation of it, that was actually run by and spoken of by an offshoot of the Islamic, or I should say the Aramaic, known by many as the Nineve. There's not really much known by them because they were nomads. They didn't stay in one spot, but they spoke and understood the stars. They understood the astrological and numerological uh, numerology in ways that most don't even understand today. They were well beyond their years. They even have been associated with demonolatry. Perhaps the earliest form of Satanism itself. Now, as spoken before, 
Satanism is over 700,000 years old. It's nothing new, as some of these more modern practitioners wish to disclose to you. So, when we're speaking of this group of individuals, these nomads, they built temples much like we do, much like the modern Christian. And the reason for this is that, much like the modern pagans, the, the uh, Canaanites, or Phoetians, as they were called, were well advanced. Astrology, numerology, um, alchemy, the whole kin and caboodle. These nomads were actually the same, but much older. So with that said, this is Linguistics 101. To speak it, you must know it. You must seek it out. And most often, it's going to cost a lot. Because that's what knowledge is. It's a price to be paid in full. So trust your demon guides. Trust who you serve. Because I serve Satan. My teacher, Aguilarette. My spiritual guide, Astaroth, and I can tell you this, seek out the knowledge, because that's how you grow, that's how you learn. This has been Linguistics 101.